Shalom and welcome to our new series of Living Supernaturally. We have been learning God's word and understanding the fear of the Lord. We looked at yesterday how the fear of the Lord may seem troubling to a few, but we saw that the fear of God is the reverence and the respect and the awe that we have for a powerful and a mighty and a just God. Today we are going to look into some scripture that shows us what happens when we fear the Lord. There are certain blessings and benefits that we, we are going to be looking at through the coming few days um, of what could be, what are some of the benefits of the fear of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 6. In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity, and by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. The reward of having the fear of the Lord is that it is the foundation of a God-honoring life. To live in the fear of the Lord is to depart from evil, as our verse shows today. The fear of the Lord helps us to overcome sinful habits. So when we have the fear of the Lord, it enables us, it keeps us away from things that are wicked. It keeps us away from things that are evil. We saw how the fear of, the, fear of God is just knowing about His continued presence in our lives. So when we are aware of the presence of God, we are also aware that He is watching us, that He knows our thoughts from, our far, from afar. He knows what we are thinking. And this relates to our own attitudes. If we have a heart that really fears God, we will seek God and His will in everything that we do. Let's take two examples from the Word of God. Job. You know, he feared God. Scripture says he feared God and he shunned evil. So much so that, that he went on to give sacrifices and prayed for his children and uh, for his children after uh, they, they feasted. We see an example of Joseph because of his fear of the Lord and the gratitude that he had towards his master. Joseph found himself keeping away from evil when he was being seduced by Potiphar's wife. So we have so much to learn from these examples that, and especially in Joseph, he was in a place of power and in a place of position. Yet, because of his deep reverence and because of his worship of God, he kept away from things that displeased God. So when in God's presence, we, it causes us to hate what is evil. It causes us to hate what is wicked. When we are aware of His presence, we keep away from that which is evil. So the fear of God gives us the power to overcome what is sinful, to overcome what is wicked. It keeps us away from those desires or those intentions that may displease the Lord. And it is the principle that we have. The more that we see Him in worship, the more that we revere Him, the more that we stand in His presence, the lesser is our desire to partake in evil or to partake in that wickedness. So the more that we stand in reverence to Him, the more we understand evil departs from us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the more that we see you, the more that we love you, the more that we are in communion with you, the lesser is our desire to move to evil, to, to partake in that which is not of you. Lord, we pray that it will be our life's purpose to always please your heart and to give you glory. We pray that we will have the fear of the Lord that keeps us away from every wicked thing. Thank you for empowering us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.